Welcome and thank you for joining us on this short video of how to set up Auto Connect on the Model 71s. Uh, first of all, you're going to see this deployment guide. Uh, it's a PDF that just shows uh, some example of what's going on and, and how it works. Uh, what's really important are these diagrams down here. So now when you set up units for Auto Connect, you're going to have two units. They're going to talk to each other and create that secure LAN tunnel between them automatically. Uh, what's really important, it doesn't matter which unit you use for the head end and which, you, you, which unit you use for the remote, but really how you wire them up or connect them to the respective networks, that's what makes the difference. Um, so for the head end unit, take one of your units and you just simply plug the green LAN and power it on. And that's for the head end. That's it. That's all you do. Uh, and this can be installed behind a firewall just like you see here or other NAT devices and Auto Connect has some technologies that allow it to automatically get through uh, those uh, type of situations. And then for the remote site you would connect the yellow or the cloud www icon here that would connect up to the router and then this green when the tunnel is up would actually give you complete transparent traffic although secure back to the headquarters. So you can connect your laptop here, DHCP, and the DHCP would go through the tunnel from your network and it would be just as if you're sitting on that network. Again, it's all automatic um, and so it depends on how you wire them up. So now at this point we're going to go and actually show you how to configure the unit. So I already have a, a IP access to a Model 71 on my network. If you don't have the ability yet to connect up uh, either through Ethernet or Wi-Fi to your 71, there's a previous video that's going to be uh, easier for you to go through to get that set up and then come back to this video. Uh, here I'm going to open up a tab browser and the address of my unit is 10913117. And what comes up is the uh, authentication username password to log into the management interface. The default is admin admin, all lowercase. So we're going to type admin admin. We're going to hit login. Now for brand new units uh, or units that are factory defaulted, you'll see the software license agreement come up. Go ahead and scroll down and accept that and then boom you have your management front home page of the device. Now the way Auto Connect works is it actually uses the MAC address of each unit and you simply program in or configure the MAC address of the peer unit. So if you have two units you have one unit here and one unit here you just put simply the MAC address of each unit of who he's supposed to talk to or who he's who he's a peer of. So the remote site of this unit is the peer of this headquarters and vice versa. Um, again, it doesn't matter which unit is uh, defined as headquarters or remote. Um, certainly for configuring Auto Connect, that doesn't matter at this point. Um, what really matters at the end of the day is how they're wired up uh, as you see here. So uh, we've accepted the agreement uh, and now we're at the home page. And you can see uh, at this juncture, um, we've got a tab bar up here, and you can click on the Auto Connect, and this brings you uh, to the Auto Connect Configure page. And so you can see on this unit, the system ID here um, is 0080-4872-FC4D. Um, that is actually a number that you need to write down because you're going to put that number into the far end unit. Now the unit that I do have that I'm going to auto connect to uh, is a model 7 uh, that I'm going to put in here is 02027007010203. So I'm going to put the, the MAC address of the far end unit, its opposite peer, right in here and then I'm going to select MAC based connection. Alright, and then all you do is hit submit. All right, and that will put that in the unit, and then the unit will start using that information uh, to try to establish a connection. And so you can see here that FC4D, which is my unit here, wants to talk to 010203. Um, and so on the 010203 unit, you're going to come to the Auto Connect page, you're going to put in the Peer Mac, you're going to put the system ID of FC4D, so they're kind of opposite to each other on the other unit. 
hit Mac base connection and submit. Now what's really important is that you save config after you've entered these uh, information in. If you don't save config, when you power the unit, you'll lose everything you've done and wonder what's going on. And you can even see here, it's looking to find the peer device and it's timed out waiting for peer because he's not plugged in yet. He's not turned on. Um, so at the, end of the, uh, at the end of the moment, when I get the other unit configured, the two will see each other and lo and behold, you'll have a tunnel. Now on the front panel of the device, you'll actually see the tunnel LED flashing until a connection is established. So the green tunnel LED on the front panel of the device will flash and that tells you that it's in auto connect mode. And when the finally the tunnel is actually there, then the green light will be solid. And once that green light's solid, then you have uh, then you have a link between the two units. Don't worry about the remote um, uh, orange LED, whether that's on one unit or another, that gets all figured out automatically when uh, AutoConnect is processing itself. Um, and of course, uh, um, uh, the power and status LEDs will be as, as normal. Thank you very much and hope this was helpful.